Yo, 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 what up? So, I've had quite a few people ask me how I paint the white armor on my Knight's Excelsior Stormcast. So, today I'm going to tell you about possibly the slowest method to paint white armor that you're probably ever going to find. Uh, if you're unglued enough, you can use this method for Knight's Excelsior, White Scars, Lumineth, whatever you want to paint that has white armor. You know, if you want to try it out, make your white armor guys look like this, this, maybe this. Uh, yeah. I've kind of developed this recipe myself. It's not a fast way to paint white armor. And by the time you're done painting your armor, you'll almost definitely be a victim of, you know, dry eye, wrist cramps, temporary color blindness, white paint poisoning, night terrors, maybe just a generally unhinged demeanor. But, you know, it's one way to get a result, you know. It's a result I've been pretty happy with. And, uh, yeah, you know, if you want to try it out, feel free. Uh, so for the base coats, first thing you're going to need is a paint that's not actually white. I'm using Pro Acryl Bright Neutral Gray here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this color forever. I might switch to something that's a little more blue tinge in the future, but it's been working out pretty good for me so far. Um, you can use any color that's just like an off-white. It's just got to be slightly darker than white and still look kind of like white. Um, honestly, just slap the paint on all the white plates however you want to to start. Um, I don't go too precise with my base coats. I just clean up the edges as I go. It's really important to be continually like cleaning up the edges, making them look sharper through like every paint stage. Uh, I'm going to be switching models throughout this tutorial because a lot of this footage is from my stream and, you know, I jump around a lot while I am painting on stream. I also do quite a bit of painting off stream, so I don't have footage of like everything, you know, like a continuous start to finish paint job on a single model yet. But once that retributor is base coated, we got a black line in all the places where the white plates connect with each other. So we'll be doing a bit of gray shadowing as well. Um, anything you think should be darkly shaded, like under the chest plates, under the arms, stuff like that. Um, two colors we're going to use for this are Pro Acryl Coal Black and Dark Warm Gray. So basically just go over the model, do a loose black line on like feet, arms, wrists, stuff like that with your Coal Black. And then anything you want to dark shadow but not actually be black, you know, stuff that might be like a dark shade. Give it a hit of dark warm gray. Again, doesn't need to be too precise. Moving on. Um, at this point, I would recommend you finish every single other detail on the model. All the golds, all the blues, all the leathers, stuff like that before you proceed. Because once you highlight those white plates, it is a huge pain in the ass to go back and fix it. If you accidentally like bungle some gold or blue or whatever other color onto a finished white plate, Trust me, I know this one from experience. Now moving over to the Annihilator for the highlighting phase. I'm going to be using three colors for this process. Pro Acryl Bright Neutral Gray, Bold Titanium White, and a weird paint that I'm still kind of learning how to use properly. It kind of goes on like Elmer's glue sometimes. It's a little bit got a strange texture to it, but Pro Acryl Transparent White. So the basic process here is to just go plate by plate. Block out a rough guide highlight with bold titanium white, and then wet blend the gray area and the white area to create sort of like a rough transition. Uh, once that's done, you'll glaze back and forth between the two colors, basically just like the white and the gray, glazing back and forth until it's mostly smooth. Um, sometimes with like white and gray, uh, glazing doesn't always get them that smooth. Sometimes you still see layer lines, like the gray shows up really strongly against the white. So. It can be a little bit tough, but uh, that's where the transparent white comes in. I pretty much just paint thin layers of it over any rough transitions until it gets as smooth as I want it to. Um, sometimes I do it in between glazes. Sometimes I do it over top of everything. You know, I haven't really like fully developed the process for the transparent white yet. I'm still experimenting with it a lot, but it's helped me quite a bit on my last two or three units. Um, especially since my wet blending and glazing techniques are still something I'm working on improving. You know. <laughs> um, once your blends are looking smooth, then you're just gonna do a final bright highlight with bold titanium white on the highest points and edges. Make them really stand out and you're pretty much done. Um, there you have it. Doesn't sound too crazy, right? So that's my process as of April, 2024. Uh, I'll probably do an update video in the future cause I'm still learning, I'm still improving, you know. Um, this is my very first painting guide. So even this video is probably gonna be pretty roughly cut, but uh, uh, if you're a better painter than me and you have any tips or tricks or you know, ways I might be able to improve it further. Any learnings to pass down, I'd really appreciate it too. You can let me know in the comments below. You know, I'm always trying to learn and improve my own technique, my own process and stuff. Uh, anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, smash those like and subscribe buttons straight down into the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, I'll do my best to put on more guides in the future um, as I get more footage banked up from stream. So yeah, thanks for watching.